Hello there, people of the internet. Uh, we're back again today, and kind of almost no secret now, if you've been on the internet for uh, under 24 hours, that the entirety of Pokemon Legends Arceus just kind of leaked online, and everyone's been talking about it, and it's impossible to ignore. And I hate that it's impossible to ignore, that like every all this shit's showing up on my Twitter feed, all this shit's showing up on all my social media, and I couldn't stop it from happening, <laughs> because I didn't think it was going to happen out of the blue. So I figured, you know what? The the, the fucking excitement's ruined for me. It's probably ruined for you guys too. Let's just fucking sit down and talk about it because obviously so many things are, have come out about this game and it looks fucking crazy. The Nintendo Ninjas, the Pokemon Company Ninjas are all over this shit, guys. They're purging everything. I'm going to try to leak Pokemon Legends Arceus with no context. So <laughs> hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so keep in mind, guys, I will not be uh, leaking anything today for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Um, there's no sort of leaks on this channel. We don't do that here. We, we Nintendo, there's no way we were going to leak it. Um, all I have to say is that I'm going to make some predictions, some no-context predictions and thoughts on the experience that will be Pokemon Legends Arceus in one week. So, you know, uh, let's let's just jump into this brand new experience, thinking of, of what could, what what is to come. Okay, so first, now, as we all know, everyone's favorite big green menace from specifically the movie Avengers Endgame, the Hulk will be featured in Pokemon Legends. And the Hulk, will obviously do what he did in Avengers Endgame and travel back in time. Why would the Hulk travel back in time? Well, the Hulk is everyone's favorite protagonist of the fourth Marvel movie, number four, which I think there was a fourth Pokemon game released last year, or at least a fourth generation Pokemon game we released last year to keep people's minds kind of relevant to it, you know? And, um... This protagonist of the fourth Marvel movie, the fourth, will be going back in time to get the blue or the diamond and the purple or the pearl Infinity Stones. Because, in a way, this is kind of a remake of the comic books and is a sequel to the movie that came out right before it, you know? Our main character from the fourth will be making an appearance as the main character in the sequel going back in time in order to get the Infinity Stones. See, I d and it, it bears striking similarity to uh, the development of mankind. And X and Y chromosomes. You guys remember X and Y chromosomes? Mm. Where, you know, eventually we all just wake up one day in the middle of nowhere. And with X and Y, we, we wake up, it's thousands of years later. And we reconnect with old friends. This is a very awkward way to, 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 <laughs> to do this. All right. Oh, and on top of that, there are going to be so many cameo appearances in this game from so many different pop culture icons. Now, everyone's favorite lovable bear will be getting a metamorphosis. You've probably seen the bear in the trailer at this point, Yogi Bear. Um, when he kind of goes berserk a little bit, he now has a brand new variation to him that I think everyone will appreciate with a whole new typing too. He's not just a, a bear anymore. He's a little more than that. Oh, and we're getting a brand new rendition of the genie from Aladdin here now, too. We're getting, we're getting a female genie from Aladdin. You know, Disney's making a lot of cameos in this game. Nintendo really put a lot of money in, in that pocket to, to get this out. Jesus Christ, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> oh, that's, that's another one, too. So, you thought... So th there's a brand new, everyone already knows, there's a brand new form for Hisui and Growlithe. But did you know? His form, his evolved form is not a, a doggo 
fruit. It's a, it's a dog. Oh, that okay. That kind of disturbed me when I saw Muggle. So yeah, there's also they're going to be puffer fish in this game too. Did you know that? Brand new puff, puffer fish from, you know, the seas of, of various different Pokemon games in the past, getting brand new look. You know, this puffer fish definitely looks like he was cleaned off recently, so that's good. Oh, the number 905. You know, it's a very peculiar number, 905. I bet that's how many days it took to develop the game, or, you know, maybe it's a, it's a certain number of, uh, of creatures that would be present inside of a game like this. Oh, and oh, that poor little boy, he fell a little too far and he broke his leg, so obviously we're gonna, you know, have to worry about that problem later on, you know, when we're trying to play the game. You know, the little boy may be falling because there's a mechanic that causes the little boy to fall and he gets hurt if he falls too far. Oh, and there's no more growling. In fact, I don't think, yeah, they, they, they really want this to be a more positive experience, guys. No more growling. Uh, no more staring at people, no more scary faces, no, no more, you know, move, no, no more uh, doing things to intimidate your opponents or to make them, make the, their statuses a little weaker compared to yours, you know? I think they're omitting that from the game, actually. Along with, oh, it looks like, it, it looks like some Pokemon just don't have the ability to do certain things anymore. They're, they're lacking some abilities. Um, though, you know, it's a general term, some abilities, I don't know if they're gonna to have them but man this uh yeah this this book being in in this game is obviously alluding to to the fact that you know they're, they're trying to make it a more positive experience overall for everyone no more negativity no more randomness you know oh and oh, and everyone's favorite pop culture icon lord will be making an appearance she'll be in fact she'll be a she'll she'll have new variants in this in this game too three new variants and she'll be making a legendary appearance as a character in Pokemon Legends Arceus. She's going to be a legendary inclusion. Three separate variants, two, not just one. She's going to have three of her albums, three separate variants inside of this. Lord also came, much like our protagonist, the Hulk, from the fourth Avengers movie. I don't think he, yeah, she was, she was cameoed in the fourth Avengers movie, guys. I, trust me, I know. So yeah, Lord. Four. Three variants. Four. Oh, and look at that. Look at all the weather. So many variables in weather here. I wonder if these weathers will affect the status of the, the game, you know? Whether or not we're going to have uh, any issues getting the game. If there's going to be flooding or if there's going to be big uh, snowstorms or deserts or, you know, tornadoes or windstorms. If it's going to, you know, hurt the Pokemon's chances maybe debilitate our ability to, to get the game on time debilitate the the our exploration of the game through dynamic weather changes that happen really rapidly I mean it is in the middle of January you know there's there's a lot of different weather happening nowadays oh and you see this is a manual drive you, you guys have I, I've never driven manual before I've, you know I've, I've never driven stick shift before I've always driven automatic but um, you might have to, you know, in this game, to, to get around, you might have to manually drive your Pokemon around to get them to where they need to go, you know, to uh, get them to their next stages. You might have to manually set them on an evolutionary path that's a little, little better, you know, than what they were before. It might not be automatic like it was in the past. You might have to manually drive your Pokemon there, you know? And I mean, no one likes driving shift, but I guess we're going to have to now. Oh, and look at that. I think the most important development of the night, you guys. Uh, it turns out Pokemon Legends Arceus is actually a first-person shooter. It's an FPS game. With a ton of cool, different changes. Damn. Man, so, I mean, with all this new information, guys, I bet you're really excited about Pokemon Legends Arceus, just like I am. I'm so excited for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And, uh, man, I just can't wait for the game to come out and, uh, wish, uh, wish I wasn't spoiled. 
<laughs> I wish the internet didn't spoil me on every fucking new thing that comes out, you guys. I hate it. But I hope you had fun with this uh, very awkward mumbling through um, out of context spoilers for Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, so, uh, thanks, thanks for watching. I'm sorry for doing this. I, I just kind of want, I figured, you know, it would be a fun idea. Kind of didn't hit it the way I thought it would, but maybe you guys will like it. Okay, cool. See you guys.